Now let's write the logic to select and build the data. So here we need to select the data from the table BS ID. This is the table customer open line item. From here we'll select like BUKRS, Kunnar. It is good practice to select the data in the same sequence. Okay, and I'm going to use both the new and old web syntax, also the inline declaration for this. So from here I will select BUKRS, Kunnar, GJHR, Belnar, then I will select BUDET, WARS, XBLNR, BLART, and we have one amount field, DMBTR, okay, and Z, uh, okay, and also we required here ZFB date, that is a baseline date, okay, and along with this baseline date, along with that baseline date, ZFB date, we need to select, we need to select this ZBT1. So here we can see the number of days. Okay, we can also select both uh, the fields ZBD1, ZBD2, ZBD3 based on your configuration. So what we have to do to get a due date, we have to add the number of days from this field or addition of both to the baseline date. Then we'll get the due date. Okay, so all this we need to select. So we'll select from the first field, BUKRS Kunnar. Okay, so go back to our coding. And here, I will give the comments like select open line items from BSID. And select the first field BUKRS, new web syntax, so all column must be comma separated. The second field is Kunnar. The third field is GJHR. Fold fourth field is Belnar. The first four fields are the one, two, three, four. Then we have BU date, WARS, XBLNR, BL date. Okay, then I will write here BU date, then XBLNR, then we have WARS, currency, then we have BLART, then we have DMBTR, then we have ZFB date. Okay, BU date, XBLNR, WARS, BU date. Okay, before this, this is BLRT and I selected DMBTR as well. After that, the ZB date and ZBD. What is that? Okay, ZBD1T. ZBD1T. I'm selecting only one. Okay, so here I will write WARS and then. XBLNR, BLRT, DMBTR, and ZBD1T. From BSID into table, this table, right? This is inline declaration at direct data, GT underscore BSID. Fine. And then where condition? Where? Where? BU. KRS in host variable <laughs> at the rate S underscore BUKRS. We, we have to pass here the selection field. Okay. Then and the second field. Second field is Kunnar, that is customer ID. At the rate S underscore Kunnar. And document type also I'm passing, that is BLART in at the rate s underscore b l a r t okay so we are selecting all this column from bsid into gt underscore bsid based on this selection criteria if any error no error okay all yellow so just warning messages so now we have to select the customer id and the customer name okay the customer id and customer name see from Kunnar, here we will get a Kunnar, that is customer ID. Based on this Kunnar, we need to select the data from KNA1 table. KNA1 in AC12 is the customer master data, right? So we will select here from customer ID, name 1, and one more field we will select here, 
AD or NR. Why? This is required for the address field because next we have to select a telephone number. Okay, we can also use the inner join here, left join. Okay, and if you don't want to use left join, you will like to different select query. Fine, so from here, we will select Kunnar name one and ADR NR. So how to write query first, we have to check this table is not initial. Then using for all entries, we have to select the data. So if GT underscore BSID is not initial. Okay, if that table is not initial and if else simply give the message, simply give the message there. What message will give? Message no data found. We can give any message of type I. Okay, and don't do anything. Fine. Now, if the data found, the first sort the data based on customer ID. Sort GT underscore BSID by Kunnar. We'll sort the data based on customer ID. Now, we'll select the data from KN1. Select Kunnar, name 1, ADR, NR. From which table? KN1. Into which table? At the rate data GT underscore KN1. Okay. For all entries. Because we have customer ID in this first table, right? So for all entries in this previous record, previous table, we need to select the data. So for all entries in GT underscore BSID, here also use the host variable. Okay, where, where the which is in a match field, the customer ID Kunnar equal to at the rate GT underscore BSID Kunnar. Save, check, activate, no error. So what we have done here, I am selecting customer ID, customer name, ADR, NR from KNA1 into GT KNA1 for all entries in GT underscore BSID. Now what is the next? Next we have to do here, based on this customer address, we will select the mobile number from ADR to table. Okay. Let's say this is the customer ID. Fine. So this customer ID I will pass here in this KN1 table. If we pass the customer ID here. So here we can see this is the address field. Okay. This address field I will pass to ADR2. The ADR2 table for, for getting the mobile number to fetch the mobile number of this customer. So here there is no record. So what we'll do, we'll simply, we'll simply Add first mobile number in the customer master first. So transaction code is BP. I will select this customer ID. I'll go to T code business partner. And here currently there is no mobile number updated for this customer. So I will just add one mobile number here. Okay. Two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Save the record. Why the save button is not enabled? Wait. Yes, save the changes. So for this customer with transaction code BP, I just added mobile number. Okay, so if I refresh here, if I refresh here, we should get the data. See, now we can see two records. Okay, so any one mobile number I want to read. Fine. So now we'll select the mobile number. We can also give the default flag there. So mobile number I've added. So now again the same. See before selecting the data from KN1 table, we check whether this table is not initial. Similarly, my next query is depend on this table. 
So again, we have to check whether this table is initial or not. Otherwise, if you're not checking this condition, system will select all the data in this table. Okay. Now it is never possible if we select, if we got the customer ID from BS ID and that record is not there in KN1, that is also not possible. So what we'll write now, if GT underscore KN1 body is not initial, And if we can write sort gt underscore kn1 gt underscore kn1 by adr nr fine and here like table is small so i can go for select all or you can select only specific fields so i'm going to use select all here okay so what i will do now select all from ADR2 into table at the rate data GT underscore ADR2 for all entries in which table GT underscore at the rate GT underscore KNA1. Then the where clause where which is a matching field, which is a matching field here, the first field that is the address number. Okay, the address number of this ADR2 equals to which field kn1 adr nr the field name can be different but the data type and the length must be same fine save check and activate okay so what i have done here i have selected the first open line item then we have selected the customer ids then we have selected te uh, te uh, telephone numbers and not necessary we'll get data in this telephone number may be blank like in our scenario okay so now what we'll do we'll move the data to final table so to move the data to final table we'll make a main loop at gt underscore bs id fine and we'll sort with the key field sort gt underscore bs id by bucrs Belnar and GJHR in any finance document. Okay, the main finance table is BKPF, right? Which is the main finance table for all the document is a BKPF. So here we can see BUKRS, Belnar, and GJHR. First three are the key field of any finance document. So here we'll sort based on the BUKRS, Belnar, and GJHR. Okay. And then we'll sort GT underscore KN1 by Kunnar. It is good practice to sort the data so that you can use the binary search. Sort GT underscore. What is the third record? That is ADR2 by address. We can use the binary search. Anyway, we'll use here the new above syntax. That is try and try. So we don't have to bother about this. Okay. So now what we'll do, we'll make a loop at GT underscore BS ID, assigning fill symbol. Okay, fill symbol, you'll learn. Assigning fill symbol, it is a pointer. Instead of work area, we can use the fill symbol here. Right, so we'll make this loop at the GT underscore BS ID and we'll move all the data to this final table, GT underscore list table. Okay, we'll move all the data to the GT underscore list. So before this table, I will clear the GT underscore list body. Okay, also GS underscore list work area. So clear GS underscore list. Save, check and activate. Now, as we created the field name same, right? See here, all this field name, like Kastkunnar, BUKRS, Belnar, PUDATE, ZFB date. Okay, those fields are matching, those fields are matching with the, which fields? Which our uh, BSID fields. We can use the MOO corresponding also. We can also use the MOO corresponding. Fine? So till now what we have done, 
you select the data from BSID, KNA1, ADI2 table, and now you have to build the final internal table. After that, we need to display the data that we'll learn in the next session. Thank you.